All right, guys, I'm saying goodbye to Turkey Bird here as I head out on a cross-country adventure. I'm heading to the airport right now so I can fly to Austin, Texas. I'm going to pick up two poodles and drive them to Canada. So you guys are going to come along with me. All right, guys, I made it to Texas. I flew from Atlanta to Houston and then Houston to Austin. And the dog's parents picked me up at the airport. Then we had about an hour together to get acquainted. And then we just drove three hours and stopped for the night in San Angelo. So it's been a long day, but everyone say hello to Gracie and Milo. They are absolutely beautiful. They are amazing dogs. We have already clicked and bonded and they've done great in the car. We're out for a beautiful walk right here on the river across the street from our hotel in San Angelo. Life is good, man. I, I just can't even tell you how much I love doing these long distance pet transportation gigs. To me, there's nothing in the world better than traveling and dogs. So getting paid to combine the two, I mean, life is a dream. When I do long distance pet transportation gigs like this, it is really important to me that the dogs enjoy themselves along the way. So when I do these gigs, I only take one family's dogs at a time. That way we can really have a one-on-one -on -one intimate experience. And I am with the dogs 24 seven. You know, they're never left alone. They sleep in bed with me in the hotels. And I really go out of my way to find things for us to do uh, during the day, cool nature trails and dog friendly activities. You know, so they're staying active, they're getting exercise, they're enjoying themselves. And then at nighttime, I'm really adamant about not just booking any old pet friendly hotel, but finding hotels that are in locations like this, but still affordable. You know, this nature trail on the river is literally right across the street from our hotel. So we're gonna be able to spend a lot of time out here this evening and tomorrow morning and just really create a full experience for me and for the dogs. All right, guys, we officially made it to New Mexico. We just stopped right here over the state border so the dogs can have a walk and a potty break. And our next stop will be to see the aliens in Roswell. All right, guys, check this out. We made it to Roswell, New Mexico. We are meeting the aliens now. <laughs> the pups don't know what to think, but I am very excited. So we spent a couple hours exploring Roswell and uh, we just made it to Albuquerque and I wanted to stop and see Walter White's house and it's just a real house in a normal neighborhood. So I found this cute little park and we've been walking around uh, just exploring. This park is literally right around the corner from Walter White's house. So for all you Breaking Bad fans, we are going to go there next. That's it. That is Walter and Skylar White's house. So cool. <laughs> They've, they've painted it and put a new roof on it, but all we're missing is the pizza on the roof and the Pontiac Aztec in the driveway. It'd be just like we were on the set. <laughs> it's so cool that it's just a real house in a normal neighborhood. And we're getting to walk Milo and Gracie around. Uh, just so cool. Breaking Bad's my second favorite show ever made, so. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't come to Albuquerque and not see this. We're staying at a Days Inn on the northern side of Albuquerque tonight, and uh, I'm getting a little bit of work done here on my laptop as the dogs uh, get settled in and I've got their toys out. They've been playing. We've been making great time so far. I mean, we haven't hit any traffic. We haven't had to drive through any bad storms. Knock on wood. But everything is just going so well. It's about 7.30 Sunday morning and we are getting on the road here in Albuquerque. We're gonna be heading through Moab and I have a couple cool uh, photo spots and hikes planned for us. But we just stopped at Dunkin' Donuts and got a couple pup cups. It would not be a cross-country road trip with dogs without the pup cups. So we made it to Cortez, Colorado, and we just stopped and saw a giant cow statue. Um, I forgot to take any footage there, but I got a picture. I'll put that on the screen right now. And then we just found this really cute park. You can't tell, but there are some snow-capped mountains right there in the distance. And our next stop will be Wilson Arch. All right, we're hiking around Wilson Arch now. This is such a beautiful area. We're right outside of Moab. The dogs are loving it.
We just got to a Comfort Suites in Ogden, Utah, which means we actually did 10 hours of driving today. It was over 12 hours on the road, including all of our different stops and adventures and everything. So we, we pushed our limits, both for me and for the pups today. Uh, I was actually only planning on doing like five or six hours of driving today. And we were going to go to the Arches National Park but when I got there, the line at the entrance was probably a mile long. So we just kept on trucking and ended up here in Ogden. And this is just a perfect example of why I never book hotels in advance. Because you just never know what's gonna happen when you're on the road. Each day is a little bit different and things never go exactly to plan. So I always uh, stop and book a hotel really about 30 minutes or an hour before I'm ready to stop for the night. All right, we're about to hit the road here in Ogden, Utah, and I expect to make it to around Pendleton, Oregon today. Uh, so we'll only have six or seven hours of driving, much lighter than yesterday. I spent a few minutes on the computer this morning researching some good places for us to stop along today's route. And I wanted to quickly mention that if you are a pet sitter and you are wondering how I get clients like this, and the requirements uh, for doing gigs like this and how I set my prices, all of that good stuff. I have posted several videos here on the YouTube channel in the past about all of that. I will put the links down in the descriptions below. And then if you are a potential client and you are needing your dogs transported a long distance, you can shoot me an email at doug at bad to the bone pet care .com, and I would love to take your dogs for an adventure as well. Before I get fully out of Ogden, I just had to stop and show you how beautiful these mountains are. We have officially made it to Oregon. We're out here doing the river walk in Pendleton, Oregon on the Umatilla River. We're having a blast getting a good couple miles in after a long day in the car. This is actually my third time staying in Pendleton doing these different long distance pet transportation gigs. Uh, I love it here. It's such a cute little town and they've got this nice trail on the river, a really nice downtown area with some cute shops and restaurants and stuff. So I think we're gonna try to get dinner at a outdoor restaurant down there after we finish our walk. Um, that's one of the cool things about uh, doing so many of these long distance pet transportation gigs is, you know, I get to uh, experience the world. I, you know, there's no reason for me to ever come to Pendleton, Oregon. It's such a random uh, little town in Eastern Oregon. But, you know, this is my third time here. And, and each time I'm here, I get to see something a little bit new and different for me. So I love it. I love it. And getting to share these experiences with just the best pups in the world. It's, it's a dream come true for me, it really is. And I mean, for you guys that don't know, I actually grew up in Oregon. So anytime I'm here in the state, you know, just breathing the air and seeing the Oregon trees is rejuvenating for me as a person. <laughs> We actually only did about six hours of driving today since we got so far ahead of schedule yesterday. And uh, that worked out really well because it's Monday today, which means uh, my email was flooding and I had a little bit of work to do when we got checked into the hotel this evening. Milo and Gracie and I are enjoying the sunset here outside of our hotel. And it just doesn't get better than this. I mean, I'm trying not to get emotional right now, but I'm sitting here looking across the valley with these beautiful dogs. And this is what life is all about. It really doesn't get better than this. It's our last official day on the road and we are making our first stop for the day at Heisey Park in Granger, Washington. They have a bunch of dinosaurs here, so we're hanging out with them. Milo and Gracie are making some more big friends. We just stopped to see this Marlon Brando mural in Roslyn, Washington. It's a super cute little mountain town and uh, getting another good walk in. Next stop will be the Space Needle. We made it to Seattle. It's only 60 degrees here and of course I didn't pack a long sleeve shirt so I'm a little chilly but the dogs are loving it. 
What an absolutely incredible life, man. I mean, if you would have told me just a couple of years ago that I could get paid to do stuff like this, I would have straight up laughed in your face. I mean, this is a dream come true for me. Uh, getting to travel the world and see cool stuff like this. I mean, check it out. We're at this Space Needle and I'm getting paid to do this. You, you just can't even make this stuff up. And just like that, our cross country adventure is over. We are here uh, waiting on the ferry in Port Angeles, Washington right now. Uh, their parents are coming over on the ferry right now. And I, uh, I'm just sitting here enjoying my last few minutes with these guys. It's been an absolutely amazing adventure. Uh, I couldn't have asked for uh, better pups to make this adventure with. I'm really sad to be leaving them, honestly. Um, and what a great uh, view for our last few minutes together as well. I mean, uh, just such a beautiful place. So uh, I will drop the dogs off with their parents here in a few minutes, and then I will start the journey back to Atlanta, and then I will be doing another cross-country adventure with another dog next week. Okay, guys, just to add to the story here, I was not able to get a rental car to go from Port Angeles back to Seattle, uh, where I'm flying out of, and Uber was gonna cost like $400, so my cheapest option was to actually rent a U-Haul truck. So I am going to be driving this moving truck from Port Angeles to the Seattle airport. Uh, I'm gonna spend the night right by the airport tonight, and then I will be flying home tomorrow. But what a wild ride, man. <laughs> I'm dropping the U-Haul off now and then heading to the airport and then I will be hitting the road in just two days with another dog driving from Florida to Montana. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, uh, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that video as well. I hope you guys have enjoyed this journey as much as I have and I appreciate you for coming along. I'm Doug the Dog Guy reminding you to stay positive.